In collecting, we call them the bookends. When something starts, yes, it's here, let's get into it, right? And then there's that sigh at the end. Oh, you're telling me it's over? It's the end of the series? It's the last one? And when it becomes a significant coin, one that we all love, it's just heartbreaking. Well, we're going to take that away tonight because we have in stock again the 1921, the original end of the story for the Morgan dollar. And tonight we have it in the beautiful Defender holder. Now look at the price, everybody. That's the first place to look. We're at $39.95. And we've improved the packaging. Bringing it out in this gorgeous Defender holder. Now, they call it the Defender holder just because, again, it defends the coin, protects the coin. But also, you might have noticed over the last two or three years that all the packaging that's being made in our industry is to satisfy NGC, PCGS, ANAX, all the coins that are certified. They don't make a lot of packages outside of capsules for regular coins anymore. So working with a couple of companies out there, the idea was to create a holder that will fit into all this packaging. That's what this Defender is. It also protects the coin, makes it look a little bit more beautiful. It gives you a label to explain what it is. So it even adds a little extra flavor. So the number one silver dollar in the history of the United States, the number one coin in the history of the United States is our Morgan dollar. The child of the largest silver find ever, which is the Comstock load, that dates back to, well, the Oregon Trail, the Northwest Passage, and getting stuck and not being able to get to California for the gold rush. So we'll settle for the silver rush. The Comstock load is the largest silver find in America ever. And it was the reason why a silver dollar was brought back to the marketplace. I'm not sure if many of you know, but it's the largest coin, yes. But during our history, early history, we didn't have enough silver to make the silver dollar part of our flow. From 1804 to 1840, there were no silver dollars. And then the Liberty, Seated Liberty, came out. Very small vintages in general. And when they found silver the story changed so how many of you also remember a couple of years ago the hundredth anniversary of the last morgan and then why did they make 27 consecutive years in the morgan dollar series 1878 to 1904 and then stop making it and then bring it back in 1921 and then why are we celebrating the hundredth anniversary of why we did that well, the real story is, is we had silver stockpiles of Morgan dollars from the 27 years. We didn't need to make any more. But then World War I hits, and President Woodrow Wilson is pausing. We're not joining with the rest of the eventual allies, and we're neutral. England has an issue with a run on its silver certificates in India, and Senator Pittman comes to the table with, we got all these Morgan dollars in our vaults. We can't give them the Morgan dollars because then the Germans and the Axis will know the U.S. is helping with their coinage to satisfy the bank rush. So Senator Pittman recommends we melt 60% of all the Morgan dollars ever struck. And we did. And the bullion was sent back over to help out the cause. Then the Doughboys go over there, right? And then the war is over shortly thereafter. So they want to celebrate peace, the end of the most horrific war in history. So the peace dollar is launched late in 1921, but there's a fight over the design. And it was as simple as, if you'll notice on the back of the Morgan, the eagle in its talons has arrows. The original design of the peace dollar had arrows. They finally settled for an olive branch, and then everything was satisfied, and there we go. We had silver left over from the melts. So what do we do? Legislation already exists. We're going to make the Morgan dollar again. So in 1921, they just start pushing out the Morgan dollar. Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. This is the Philadelphia Mint version. So to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the last Morgan in 2001, brilliant idea, the U.S. Mint makes all the mints, but at 175,000. So all five mints are equal. 
Today, a 2021 Morgan dollar, today, is $250 to $300. And there's 175,000 of them that were brand new. Last year, 2023, we brought it back again. Philadelphia struck another Morgan, uncirculated. We made 275,000 last year. That coin is 100 to 125, dollars today in the marketplace, if you can find it. I've seen them as high as 179 to 199. This is the original. This is the coin that all the other coins are being made from. The popularity of this coin is why the others exist. Oh, and by the way, look at the price. Whether you buy one, three, five, that is your call. We have a set inventory available for the show tonight, and they just trickle down based upon you ordering what you would like. Can you buy a Silver Eagle today? The brand new silver dollar for $39.95 with silver doing its dance the last 60 days. Most of my competitors are at $49 to $59 for the brand new silver dollar. We're bringing back the silver dollar. Not a silver dollar, the silver dollar. And that's the end of the era, the last of its kind, of the original series, the 1921. This is not a medallion or a remake. This is the real McCoy. So somebody, for 100 years, kept this coin looking as gorgeous as the one you're seeing on your screen. And as I referenced, again, the defender in the description, thanks, Hunter, is the name of the holder. If you look at our website, we'll have the 1921 uncirculated in a capsule for the same price. The defender holder is, tells us how to package it, make sure it gets out to you the right way. My competition sells the holders, three of them for $7.99. Ours is included in the price. We want to protect these pieces. We want to make them special. Guys, we got to put a one-minute clock up. Phones are very busy. When it gets that way during the show, it happens often. You'll hear the fast busy. It, it really exists. It's not a flaw in the system. Too many phone calls, and we have a big crew tonight on the phones taking your orders. AVCcoins.com. You made it the number one site in the industry today, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And we know we have to earn it every day. So that means we have to bring out. So again, avccoins.com is the place to be. On this one, yeah, my competition, I didn't bring it up yet, did I? They're at 125, 127, 136. You might have saw it on sale, on the large network that's out there, right? on sale for $99.95. You can get three of ours. Yeah, same coin, same price. No, same coin, same grade. Look at our price. We're at $39.95 for the last original Morgan. One crazy deal.